In this video, I'm going to share my number one tip when it comes to productivity and AI. So I use a tool called TextBlaze. And with TextBlaze, what I can do is I can create folders and within those folders, I can store my prompts. So you can see here, for example, I have an ad creator and you can see the slash ADC. So when I do slash ADC, you'll see that that prompt will come up. So I have this. So if I go inside of ChatGPT and I use this, you'll see what I mean. So in ChatGPT, I can do slash ADC and then boom, my prompt is there. Now this is incredibly helpful when I just can't, first of all, can't remember all the prompts that I use because I use so many and I can just store them into what they call snippets. And in those snippets, I can store the prompt. That way it's just easy for me to utilize. I use this tool, not even just for prompts, but I also use it for things that I reuse all the time. So for example, my email address or my name or anything that re requires me to repeatedly use, I will use a snippet instead of typing it out, which saves me so much time. So I wanna share how you can actually create your own snippet inside of text plates. So the first thing is you can create a folder by clicking on create a snippet folder. And in this folder is where you can store all of your different prompts or different snippets that you have for a particular um, thing that you're trying to do. So for example, I can just say YouTube test snippets, right? And this is going to be for YouTube, right? Now, once I create that folder, I can create a new snippet and I can name this snippet. So I can say YouTube channel name, for example. And I can just say as my shortcut, which is the slash, whatever, you know, comes after that. So in this case, it could be uh, YT dash or YT, YT, Y test. How about that? That's better. And then I could say, hi, this is best of AI daily. This tool is great and helps me save so much time, right? And now if I go back into the type chat GPT and I can get rid of this and I do Y tap, you'll see that that is there for me to use. So this is incredibly, incredibly helpful and it saves me so much time. There's a lot of things that you can do um, outside of just this. Like if you wanted to, you can add different forms here. Um, you can add uh, date and time, for example, which is pretty cool. So again, completely customizable. If you're signing out forms, you can just have this be your date form or date snippet, right? So I can do, um, let's just say I'll do, let's say Y date, right? So now when I go back inside of ChatGPT um, and I delete this and I do Y date, oops, slash, don't forget the slash, Y date, it's gonna do 2024. Now, again, you can prompt this out to say whatever you want. But I think you get the point. The point is you can create these different snippets, which becomes incredibly helpful when you're trying to reuse things all the time. Like I have address, I have all my different prompts here that I use all the time. It just saves me a lot of time. So I want to share this little tidbit with you because it is really important that as you collect prompts and as you collect different things that you are storing them somewhere so you can easily access them. So that's it for this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, be sure to sub and also hit that alert bell so you know when we drop another video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.